welcome to my home. Uh, my name is Anne and I'm an interior designer here at IKEA. Um, I'm going to take you around a tour uh, in my home and let uh, Christine ask me a few questions later on. So let's start with the entry. So this is where we store all of our shoes. I live with my husband and my two kids, so we have a lot of shoes. Uh, this is one of my daughter's rooms here. And then we come into the kitchen. Uh, this is the engine of the home. Both my husband and I would love to cook. We have plenty of uh, surface so we can both be here at the same time. And then we walk downstairs. We have our living room. Uh, we love to hang out here. We spend quite a lot of time here together. Um, we watch a lot of Netflix at the moment. Um, I have my favorite chair tucked away a little bit in the corner there where I can sit and read. Um, and then we have our backyard. We love to entertain. So usually my husband's down the back barbecuing and we sit and relax and have a nice glass of wine. And we love our outdoor space. And then we come back into the living room. Um, I love textiles. I use it as a tool to actually refresh my home. Um, a cheap tool is actually to have a fabric hanging. So this one is fairly new addition. It's been around for two years, I think, in my home. Uh, and whenever I change my textile wall hanging, I then change my cushion covers and sometimes the rug. It's actually a really affordable way to refresh your home. Um, and then I have this shelf. Um, it's actually an early addition from a string, which is a, a famous designer in Sweden. Uh, my parents had it in their home and my mum asked me last time I was home in Sweden uh, if I wanted to take it, so I took it with me in my hand luggage. <laughs> and um, around the dining table, we um, uh, have a lot of things happening. And often we have stationery, we have laptops, our chargers, uh, pens and all kinds of stuff. So it drove me nuts. So I actually bought a trolley where I can put everything away and then we can comfortably sit down and have, have dinner. So that's a really good trick actually to make space for dining or uh, your, uh, sorry, <laughs> your breakfast or whatever you're doing. Um, Here's back to my kitchen. So this is a fairly new addition in my home. Um, it saved my life, actually. Um, the old kitchen we used to have only had shelving inside and I couldn't fit everything in, but now I actually have empty cab cabinets. So the top cabinets are quite empty, but I'll show you inside. So here I can have all my pot lids and pots here. And then I have my spices here. And then um, I'm going to show you my pantry. It's not the most tidy pantry, but it, you know, fulfills the purpose for us. Um, we love our tea and coffee, so that's living here. Um, we also have the space for our breakfast. Um, and then this is the shelf for all the snacks the kids bring to school so they also can then open this drawer and put the nuts in a container for themselves and pack their own lunches which helps us in a busy household so that's perfect um and i think that's it i'm gonna pick a comfy chair and let christine ask me a few more questions Hi, Ann. Thank you so much for taking us through your home. Wow, how incredible. Um, I'm Christine, and I'm from uh, Kia, and I'm one of Ann's colleagues. Um, I think your home is amazing. You've got so many beautiful things happening in that space, and what a treat for us. You've got amazing textiles, and the way that you've pulled your home together in that open space, and it's, it just feels so warm and cozy in there. I love it. Um, how are you today? Thank you. I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Very good, thanks. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, yeah, I can. 
Excellent. Uh, well, I'm dying to have a chat with you about your space. Are you ready to have a chat? Yeah, yeah, sure am. <laughs> so I thought we'd dig into some questions around your life at home and your space with you and your family, if that's okay. Um, so first up, um, are you able to tell us a little bit more about how important your home is to you and your family and, and what does home mean to you? Uh, it's, it's incredibly important. Um, I, I think um, we spend so much time here together and both my husband and I were, were home bodies so uh, we, we actually do spend a lot of time here. Um, we also love to have a kind of an open, fluid home where, you know, the kids feel comfortable bringing on, you know, their friends after school and, you know, they don't feel, you know, they have to tiptoe around. So, it's yeah, it's, yeah, really warm to my heart that it has to be comfortable for everyone. Yeah, perfect. You know, and at IKEA, as you know, we really celebrate the uniqueness of home. Um, so when you hear the word home and you think about that, what does that mean to you? Um, it's, you know, a, a place for comfort, um, a place that, you know, you, you can relax and um, have the time to yourself, um, you know, a place where you surround yourself with memories, um, lovely prints, uh, you know, it also has to be functional as well. So. Um, Often I feel that, you know, people don't take function as an important part. But for me, it's probably the number one reason to create a home that, you know, uh, if, if you don't have, it, you know, a space for everyone, it's, it's not going to be a good place. Yeah, exactly. And lighting too. Lighting is really important. It connects it all together, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, so you've, you mentioned memories just then. Um, on, with your home, how do you um, connect those memories back into your living space? Do you have any favorite things in your home that, that you'd like to talk about? Well, I, I spoke to you about the shelving unit on, on the wall, so that's, that's quite um, important to me to have up. Um, also, you know, my, my walls are covered with, you know, prints, that my friends have designed from university. So they're all hanging up, you know, some of it is also my work from when I went to university. Um, the kids, you know, I have some, I have some artwork that the kids have done as well that I've framed and, and put up. Um, yeah, so that's um, even, you know, there's, there's a toy that, you know, I have in the shelving unit that was, I can't remember if it was Emma's or Cecilia's toy that's, that's there. So little things like that is important. I really love that. I think sometimes we think that those personal items, you know, they, we don't want to put them out, but they, they just make a home feel so warm and personal, don't they? It's, it's really lovely. Um, is there, you can see in your home that you've, you've got this beautiful open space and, you know, um, you're spending time together. Can you tell us how maybe you've created some of those quality moments for you and your family in your home? Um, well, I, you know, we have a, a, a sofa and two armchairs and then I have the armchair in the corner. So, I mean, obviously we watch a lot of Netflix together as a family, but, you know, sometimes we don't always like to watch the same, um, same show. So I have my chair that I'm sitting in here that I sit back and, and read my book in. Uh, my husband has has his guitar around that you know he can sit over at the dining table and and you know play a little bit with that so you know we kind of it's quite a fluid home I guess beautiful um you know and you've mentioned the kids and I, I guess they're growing up pretty quick so are there any um, things that you've thought of in your home um, or how you've adapted the spaces um, for them in particular you know as they grow um, well, we have a space in our shelving unit um, for, uh, you know, their, you know, I, iPads and phones to be charged uh, at. So I, I don't like them bringing their phones with them all the time. So uh, I've created a little space 
for that. Um, also the shelving unit that I spoke about before that, you know, when they do their homework that they can put it away. Um, you know, we have the stationery there. So Steve and I can do our bills and all of those things. Very clever. I think especially with kids, you want to tuck all those things away. And um, that's a really good tip, <laughs> I think. Um, so this is a bit of a sneaky question, but in your home, um, you know, it looks so beautiful, but I'm sure there's an area in your home that you would love to redo. Can you tell us about anything uh, that you have going on there? Uh, well, it's probably the downstairs bathroom. Um, if When you look at it, there's probably... To someone else, there's nothing wrong with it, but for me, it's absolutely non-functional. Um, the hand basin is quite shallow. Um, the shower space is too large. Um, that means that it's a bit tight. Um, there's nowhere to put your soap. So uh, I don't know what they were thinking when they designed that bathroom, but <laughs> um, our soap suspender is actually like kind of half leaning on the top of the hand basin. So I would definitely like to redo that space and make it functional. I wouldn't probably redo it completely because it has some beautiful, you know, features in it. The tiles are nice and, you know, the floor is concrete. So it's, it's quite nice. It just needs more function. That's amazing. I love that you just talk about the soap, you know, a space for the soap. It's just things that you wouldn't normally think about, isn't it? Like yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so you're surrounded by inspiration there, I can see, um, and you must be, you know, constantly looking at trends and inspiration uh, almost every day. Um, what, can you tell us or give us some tips on how do you think about uh, changing your home and how often, how often would you do that? Um, well, I, I mean, I, I love textiles and I love colour quite a lot. At, at the moment, actually, I, I did have a period when it was a little bit more just white and, and black, but now I'm, I am I love colour. Um, so for me, a cheap and affordable way is, is to, um, you know, have, uh, surround your, your home with, with textiles that you can change, you know, and, and you, you don't have to, you know, your cushion covers, you don't have to throw them away. You can actually store them because, you know, you might fall in love with them again. But, um, yeah, I think that's a good tip. I also feel that... Um, you know, my style is is changing and evolving, and uh, it also reflects a little bit about the architectural structure of, of this house that we moved into. It has a concrete floor and high ceilings, so I think the modern style lends itself a little bit better. Um, I do like, you know, the traditional white, you know, with linen style as well. Um, but I think for this space, you know, colour actually makes it a bit bit warmer and more welcoming uh, because it is quite a large space. It's definitely welcoming, that's for sure. I can <laughs> see that you have such a beautiful space there. Um, you know, I'm really curious, though. You've got teenagers in that house. How do you keep it so clean and tidy? Uh, <laughs> it's not always <laughs> clean and tidy. I think, uh, <laughs> um, I've, I, to be honest, I've kind of tidied it up a bit before... You guys came into my home. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I think the trolley the trolley that I spoke about before is a really good tip that you kind of shove things away. Um, and another good tip is to make sure that your kids always pack away their projects before they start another one. Um, and, yeah, have you know, I have boxes as well where, you know, when they get all their photos from school and, you know, all the stuff that notes that you need, I just kind of put them away so they're not hanging around all the time because we do get a lot of stuff from school. Amazing yeah. tips, Anne. What are, you know, you're speaking about a lot of individual little things. Can you tell us about maybe what some of your favorite IKEA products are? Because uh, we can see a few oh. in the space, but is there anything in particular you... You love? Um, well, the kitchen, of course. Um, I, you know, I absolutely love the kitchen <laughs> <laughs> um, because it's, it's, it's so functional. Um, I also love my coffee table. Um, it's, um, it was a limited edition, actually. It's uh, the thin leg. It's, the tabletop is made of cork. Um, I think it's quite a cool table. 
Um, I also love the dining table. It's, it's large and, you know, we can fit about um, eight comfortably, eight people around. So that's, that's really handy. And the trolley, of course, the trolley is awesome. <laughs> It's it's a really cheap trolley actually, but <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks really good, and I love how you've used it so functionally with all of the things inside. You know, for the whole family to store their things away, it's such a clever idea. Um, you mentioned the kitchen there. Um, you know, how did you how did you choose the style for your kitchen when you when you were first thinking about um, the change that you've made? Um, well, it was it was really hard actually. Um, I think it. Um, it took me months to decide what color of, of doors I should pick for my kitchen. Um, it was leaning between black with oak accent doors or white with the oak do oak, um, oak accent doors. Um, but then eventually we, we we picked the black ones with oak accent doors. And the reason for it was that it it becomes a feature in itself. And I quite like that. I mean, the other thing with with an IKEA kitchen actually is that I mean I can change the accent doors, or you know, if you know that's the that's the great thing with that. So that is that's such a clever tip. And you know, knowing you, um, you've thought of every single detail in that kitchen. Can you tell us a little bit more about how you designed the function of the kitchen um, so that it just works for everyone in the entire family? Um, well, for me, it was really important to have a lot of internal drawers. Um, so still have a, you know, simple and clean lines, but then a lot of internal drawers, um, especially with um, with the pantry. So I think I have one, two, three, four, five, five internal drawers, and then there's one shelf, and then at the top there's wire drawers and. The wire drawers are actually really handy when you're short, like myself, because then you can pull them out and you can actually see what you have down the back. <laughs> so that was, um, that's a... I think when you opened up those doors, we were all, <laughs> wow. I mean, uh, it was incredible what you have inside there. We were just blown away by what's going on in that pantry and inside uh, inside where you've, you know, so perfectly stored all of those things. <laughs> I don't know. That was amazing. Um, and so unexpected at the same time. I have some colleagues that have really nice pantries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They'll put mine to shame. What would be your favorite part of your kitchen then? Uh, I think um, the, well, actually, uh, I think the whole kitchen is my favorite part. Um, <laughs> it's, it's just really functional. And it, I mean, I guess it's hard to explain what, what we had before what we had before was it was a beautiful kitchen but it was non-functional um, um, and the configuration was a little bit wrong as well so we had to change it around a bit um, um, I, I mean I, I like as well that I picked some open shelving within the kitchen as well where I can have the cookbooks and you know a little bit of decoration as well uh, but yeah, the whole kitchen is my favorite. <laughs> it sounds bad to say that, but... <laughs> Do you think you could leave us with a top tip? Is, is that... <laughs> how is that? Could you leave us with a top tip for, um, you know, something to think about when you're, when you're planning a kitchen or blending it into your home? Um, I, I think that a lot of people maybe forget when they're planning a kitchen is integrated lighting. Um, not only is it good for uh, when you're preparing food, um, but also, you know, it can act as a mood lighting. So when you have friends over, you can have them on and you don't have to have, you know, your uh, ceiling lights on and it just creates, you know, an ambience and, and a comfortable light coming from the kitchen. Um, and another tip is internal drawers. Excellent. Spend a bit extra and get the internal drawers. <laughs> it's, it's so handy. And all, all the dividers as well. All the dividers are they're so handy. Well, thank you so much, Anne, for all your tips and ideas. And I mean, I know that I've really enjoyed them, and I think everyone else has too. You've shared so much with us and having us in your, your home today for the virtual tour um, um, so we can check out your space and see how you and your family are living in your beautiful home.
Yeah, uh, well, thanks for coming into my home. Uh, I've enjoyed having you here and showing you around. And I hope you guys got some tips and I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see each other later. Bye. Thanks again, Anne. Bye.